All right, so we are back in Danganronpa. Another, another Despair Academy. We're doing the investigation. But yeah, let's do it. Mm. Makako, what are you staring at like that? Uh, the rope. There. Rope? It, it's strange. The rope hanging Kyoka is strange? Mm. The hook. Huh? Mm. Oh, she's right. I was too shocked by the sight of Kyoka's corpse to notice it earlier, but... Now I see that the rope is fixed to the ceiling bar by a hook. Hmm. I'm trying to think of like possible suspects already and I'm just... Like they want you to think that it was Makaru, right? Because she was the only one not there. But... In the Monokuma file it said that the cause... Uh, that It says she died at 6am, which was before anyone met anyway. Like it was before nighttime was over, so it could be anyone. And since she was found in the girls' bathroom, I assume they want you to think that it was a girl who did it, but maybe it could have been a guy. Like, I don't know how he would have gotten her in here. I don't, I don't know. I'm trying to think, like, what it could have been, what the twist is. I don't know. Yeah, well, that's what the investigation's for, though, right? <laughs> We're going to find out. But... How is it strange? It was probably used to hold the rope in place. If it was done from the inside, it cannot be tied like that. Oh, what do you mean? So like, did someone Fling it in like a rodeo, like <laughs> do it from outside. Is that what she's saying? Mm. Oh, I thought we were finally having an actual conversation, but she went silent again. Oh, give her a break. <laughs> I'm Makako Protection Squad number one, okay? <laughs> Still, I think she knows something. That means there's something about the hook. Hook has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. What is that gold stuff? There's something on the wall. Is it like the... I just keep comparing it to the other game, but like... Um, in the first one with the gold sword, the sheath, like you touched it and all the gold got on their hands. In Trigger Happy Havoc, is that is it the same thing? <laughs> There's something on the wall. A vicious liquid with a dark yellow color is splattered on the wall. It felt more slippery than I thought when I gently touched it. It's oddly disturbing. I tried smelling the liquid on my finger. Yuck, it stinks! What is the smell? It's somehow familiar. Have you smelled that liquid? Uh, yeah. Do you know what it is? Well, I cannot say for certain, but I believe the odor is closest to that of rubber. Rubber? Yeah, that sounds pretty accurate. But it's not just rubber. It smells terrible. Like an ugly mixture of rubber and oil. It's on the floor, too. What do you think it is? Maybe it's been here since the first day. No, that's unlikely. Does it not look like the stain is heading towards Kyoka's body? Kinji made a convincing point. An explanation I could think of is the liquid 
trickled down the wall and onto the floor, eventually flowing towards Kyoka's body. I think this is an important piece of evidence related to the case, too. But I still don't have enough clues yet. Rubber smelling liquid has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. I'm wondering if it came in from like a vent in the ceiling. Was that how she was hung there from the ceiling? Maybe? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> Let's talk. What's her name again? The surgeon. What's her? Kanato? Or Kanata. <laughs> Kanata, are you alright? It, it hurts me emotionally to do this, but I shouldn't avoid it, right? Because this is our only option? Yes, this is the only thing we can do. I I'll do everything I can. Is she gonna do an autopsy or something? What? To help everyone as much as possible. So we can uncover the truth. Thanks. Did you read the Monokuma file? Yes. There wasn't anything particularly, particularly remarkable. Kanata, do you think we can trust the Monokuma file? I mean, it might give us false information to throw us off. I came up with the same question and examined the body myself. And I'm sure the information given in the Monokuma file is true. The time and cause of death mostly seems to match. I, I see. I thought it could be Monokuma's trap. Guess I should start from here, though there are very little clues. Um, this is just my opinion, but don't you think Miss Maki's body looks a bit odd? Odd? My examination results agree with the Monokuma file's statement that the cause of death was a contusion on the occiput. Is that a word? I still don't know if that's a word. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it's the back of her head, <laughs> right? It's the optical. That would mean Miss Monkey's fatal injury was on the back of her head. Then why is she hanged? Oh yeah, I don't see a reason for the culprit to hang her, unless they were planning to choke her to death or make it look like a suicide. I was puzzled. Also, and proceeded to check Miss Maki's neck. The rope isn't even tight. When a person is hanged, there should be a clear mark, or in the worst case, blue discolorations on the skin that was in contact with the rope. But there's barely a mark on her neck, and I can't quite understand the cause. Judging from the state of the body, I would rather say the rope has simply wrapped around her neck than hanged her. So Kyoko is not hanged. We know the actual cause of death is a contusion. The rope has nothing to do with it. Then why? I think this will be important. Thank you, Kanata. My pleasure. My medical knowledge is far from perfect, but I'm glad that it can help you. If... If only I was skilled enough to bring the dead back to life, Miss Maki wouldn't have gone through all this. N no one can ever bring a dead person back to life, so don't blame yourself, Kanata. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Maeda. I'll continue the autopsy in case I missed anything. And I feel bad for Miss Maki when I leave her alone, so... Just... Don't push yourself too hard. Kanata's testimony has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Can I look at the... Oh, this is... There's a small blood stain right in front of Kyoka's body. A blood stain. Does that mean the hanging has nothing to do with the case? Yeah, we just went over that, Yugi. I'm sure... It Hanging itself won't make you bleed. But there wasn't any notable, notice, notable, what? <laughs> but 
there wasn't any notable blood stains on her. All that was found was a thick clot smeared on the hair near the bruise. I suppose the culprit wiped the blood on the body. Interesting. Can I look at the... Ooh. Kyoka's body. Ugh. This is a real death of a human. As I watched from up close, I felt like I was becoming extremely closer to death itself. Kyoka. Last night, it was Kyoka who saved me from losing my mind after watching the motive. In a situation where you can't even trust yourself, her bright smile drove negative thoughts away. Why did this happen to you? I shouldn't run away from reality. No matter what, I have to face it and move forward for Kyoka's sake. I think professionals like Tsurugi and Kanada already examined the body, but it wouldn't be a bad idea to look over it myself. Sorry, Kyoka. I I'll check your body real quick. Struggling to keep myself from retching, I inspected Kyoka's body. According to the Monokuma file, the death happened about three hours ago. Only three hours have passed, but there wasn't even a tiny bit of life left in Kyoka's body. Anyway, the Monokuma file said that the cause of death is a contusion to the back of the head. I carefully examined the back of Kyoka's head. There really was a large bruise on Kyoka's head. It created a giant dip on the skin. Something's not right. How is there not a single drop of blood on the body when there's an injury like this? Is it cleaned? The culprit could have wiped it away to get rid of remaining evidence. But that would be pointless since the Monokuma file tells us everything. But they didn't know that when they did it, did they? Right? So they didn't know we were going to get a Monokuma file. Whoever did this, I don't know who. I have no idea. I'm not a single suspect. I mean, they want you- they want us to suspect Makaru, but I don't- I don't suspect her at all. Um, I don't think it's her. Um, that's too obvious. But they're- they want you- <sighs> Sorry, I'm thinking. I was like- You should probably check the garbage room, right? Like, see if they tried to burn anything. Maybe something I left behind, like, in Trigger Happy Havoc. Clean body has been added. Kyoka. Huh? What's this? While examining Kyoka's body, I suddenly realized that she was holding something in her hand. Oh. We get it out. Rigor Mortis probably said in by now. She's probably gripping that really tight. <laughs> This looks like a piece of paper. With some effort, I pulled a scrap of paper that seemed to have been ripped out of a notepad from Kyoka's stiffening clutch. A notepad. I wonder if it's from the ones Monokuma put in each of our rooms? There's something written on the paper. Um, to the laundry room at six. Any can be waiting. Oh, so someone left her a note to come to the laundry room at 6, which... 6 is when she died, so she probably was killed in the laundry room by whoever it was. <sighs> this would be a fairly important piece of evidence. 6 o'clock is precisely Kyoka's time of death. The killer must have called Kyoka with this. Torn note has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Uh, I don't think there's anything else special. Plus, I don't want to touch a dead friend's body any longer. I silently prayed for her. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's talk to... Kobashikawa. Uh, Kyoka! Damn it! You were right last night! We had fun together! It it's only a few hours since we last talked with her. But this is reality, right? I can't let myself be overtaken by grief. I can't say I'm smart, but I'll try it to the best of my ability. I'm gonna find out who did this to you, Kyoka. 
let's help each other out. Okay, he has nothing valuable to say. <laughs> Teria, are you okay? Uh, I can't believe someone really died. A real dead person. <laughs> Teria, it's not that I don't feel sad like you, but if we don't do this, we're all gonna be killed. I, I can't do it, and how am I supposed to investigate while I'm feeling like this? With with someone who might be a murderer? Listen, I won't force you to do anything you don't like. But if you keep being negative like that, we might lose an opportunity to uncover the truth. And that will mean game over for us. If that's what you want, keep standing there like that. Ooh. <laughs> I kind of like Yuki. <laughs> like, he's like... He's not what I would expect the protagonist to be like. You know, like, he's kind of... He's kind of morally gray. I think he's... I don't know, I, I like it. It's not like typical Makoto, you know? I like it. <laughs> Is there anything else to investigate in this room? The girls' restroom has more toilet seats than the boys' restroom, which is not very surprising, I guess. All that's inside is a toilet, toilet paper, and a trash can. None of them look particularly suspicious. I'm gonna keep looking in all of these, see if... Maybe there's something in one of these bathrooms. Probably this one, right? The one closest. Nothing. Okay, never mind. <laughs> My guess was incorrect. <laughs> Toilet paper, not, nothing suspicious. Um, really, there was nothing in none of these, in any of these bathrooms? Alright, let's go. Yuki, what are we supposed to do? Someone actually died the situation might seem hopeless but we have to try if we don't we're going to die too we're, we're gonna die monokuma told us in the class trial if we fail to uncover the truth we're gonna be executed we, we can't let that happen what i'm saying is it's hard to face what happened to Kyoka, but for her sake, we need to figure out the truth. Okay, I'll do it for Kyoka. I'm not much of an intellect, but I'll do everything I can. And when I find out the truth, I won't ever forgive the person who murdered Kyoka. She seems to feel a bit better. Garbage dump. Let's go in here. Hmm, what's that? The murder weapon? Y Yuki, are you alright? You look pale. That's my line. I mean, who would look as good as ever when their friend was just murdered? This garbage dump. I came to look for any signs of the culprit having attempted to throw away the evidence. Great idea. This certainly looks like a good place to do that. I think I'm close to finding something. Yeah, it's literally right next to you. It's right here. <laughs> I think you're close to finding something. It's right there. This is... Yuki, that's... You're telling me Kaku did not see that. It's right next to him. It was right there. He didn't see it. Ultimate lawyer who? A hammer. There's blood on it. Blood? Then could it be the... Yeah, it's most likely the murder weapon. The hammer was about 30 centimeters long, and the metal part was really hard. Kyoka was hit by this hideous thing. It must have been scary and painful. Bloody hammer has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. 
There's a crumpled sphere in the corner of the garbage dump. What is this? That's the stuff that was on the walls and the floor in the bathroom, right? I don't know what it is, but... Having lost spherical shape, the strange object was leaking a dark yellow liquid with an awful smell. Yuck, the smell. This must be rubber, right? When I carefully touched the oozing liquid, I felt a slimy and thick stickiness. A rubber ball? Was it melted? Is something? Hmm. Maybe this is related to the case. Obviously, it was the same stuff in the bathroom, Yuki. I know there was nothing like this in the trash room before the murder. Do you? Because I've never been in here before. <laughs> That's my fault for not exploring. <laughs> but what is this feeling? I feel like I saw something like this before. Yeah, in the bathroom. <laughs> Get it together, Yugi. Alright, there's nothing else to really look at in here. Let's go to the laundry room, because she was, she was asked to meet in the laundry room. Right? Damn it, why do I have to do this? Kizuna? What the- who is it? It's me, Yuki. Did I surprise you that much? Yuki... It wasn't you, right? You're not the killer? Of course not. I would never kill someone. I yeah, it's easy for anyone to say that. Kizuna... Whatever this class trial is, I don't care. I just want to get out of this place. He's gonna try to calm down. Just leave me alone. I don't want to talk to someone who might be a murderer. Seems like Kyoka's death caused her to completely lose trust in others. Hmm. Hmm. What are you looking at, useless? She just calls him useless and he's like, okay with it. <laughs> uh, Makaru, when the murder happened, what made you come late? Why should I tell you? Besides, I told you not to talk to me. I was investigating the entrance hall. There was something of particular interest. Was it more important than a friend's death? Friend? Since when were you and I friends? You... Well, I admit an actual murder happening was beyond my expectation. But should I be shocked by every single incident that occurs here? Hey, friend or not, I don't think that's how we should react to a person's death. Huh. So what? I was born like this. That's why I'm different from the rest of you. Why don't you quit wasting time and go investigate? The class trial is a piece of cake for me. But I'm not going to offer any help. Are you saying you already cracked the case? Absolutely. Are you playing me for a fool? This whole murder case is a joke. Not because you're the culprit? <laughs> now look who's treating an innocent person like a criminal just because I was late. Suspecting your friend to be a murderer? Is that the mutual trust you guys were so busy talking about? But I don't know the culprit yet, and you look the most suspicious right now because of that extra time you took. Suppose I am the culprit. Can you give me a reason why I would commit murder? Do you think I'm foolish enough to be swayed by some dumb video? Then give a proper explanation. There's no evidence to back up your claim. Are you an idiot? Sure, there's no evidence nor any witnesses. But even if I was late for another reason, nothing would change from the truth. Coming late to the murder scene despite the announcement is suspicious enough. This is a waste of time. Get lost if you don't get what I'm saying. 
I have things to check on, and I can't spare time for morons. Makaru, why do you always have to... Jeez, what a nuisance. Why are you acting so friendly anyway? Didn't you get enough? If you still want more, go see that brawny lawyer. He'll prove my innocence. Oh? So she was... with... Kakeru? Ray Makaru, I can't understand her. Disregarding everyone else for incompetence, not even caring in the slightest bit about murder. I'll have to admit, her reasoning and research skills are exceptional, and becoming a top university professor at her age certainly isn't an easy thing to do. But did she have to be so hostile and antagonistic all the time? Yeah, because she wouldn't be the Byakuya of this game if she wasn't. <laughs> oh, my foot. My foot's asleep. <laughs> Well, this is not the time to think about that. The class trial will begin soon. I need to get up more details about the culprit. The brawny lawyer Makaro mentioned. That must be Kakaru. She said he'll prove her innocence. I should go talk to him. Okay, well, I already know where he is because I just saw him. <laughs> yeah, she's innocent. I mean, it's too obvious because she was late. Like... The murder happened at 6 a.m. anyway. It was before anyone met up at all, so literally everyone is suspicious, <laughs> not just her. Mm. I think I found something, but I'm not quite sure. Kakaru, can I talk to you for a second? Huh? What's the matter? I tried to ask Makaru about the reason she was late. She kept insisting she was innocent, then told me you might know something? Oh, Makaru. That aloof girl. Do you know why she came late by any chance? Uh, yeah. I, I should have said it earlier, but when we were all looking for her this morning, I knew where she was. It's just that I couldn't find the right time to tell everyone. Really? How did you know? I... I woke up at 6 in the morning. You did what now? So, I decided to head to the restroom. And that's when I saw Makaru. I asked her when she, where she was going, and she said, Off to investigate, now get lost. Hmm, I'm wondering... Is it kind of like that disgusting thing Byakuya did in Trigger Happy Havoc in the second trial where he messed? He saw it first and didn't say anything? Like, I'm wondering if she saw it already, like... Early, if she saw it, like, around the time it happened? I'm wondering. <clears throat> then she went towards the school wing. If Kakaru is saying the truth, it looks like Makaru really was investigating in the entrance hall, but... After that, when did you see her again? Uh, well... After that, I went to the restroom and then directly back to my room. So, I didn't see her until after the murder. All of us, besides Kyoka, Makaru, and Sarugi, were in the dining hall at 7am. Makaru said she was in the entrance hall up until the announcement. None of us can really prove that, right? Th that's true, but... I don't think Makaru is the culprit. Because, you see, I met her at 6 o'clock. According to the Monokuma file, Kiyoka's time of death was also around 6 a.m. You're right. If Makaru went to the school building at 6, she wouldn't have had enough time to come back here, kill Kyoka, hang her and all. I, I... I wasn't in the hallway for long, but it was silent out there and it didn't look like Makaru was gonna head back my way. I suppose we can't say she's the culprit because of her being late then. 
Wait, does that mean Kyoko was being murdered in the restroom when I met Makaru? If, if only I wasn't so dense. It's not your fault, Kakaru. Don't blame yourself. The one who's responsible here is the culprit. No, it's Monokuma who caused all this. Shoot. How could I not have noticed? Anyway, thanks for telling me. N no problem. Let's try investigating some more. Kakaru's account has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. I don't think she was murdered in the bathroom. I think she might have been murdered in the laundry room because she had that note. So where is the laundry room anyway? I don't even... I don't even know. Laundry room right here. Actually, I want to talk to him first. Damn, this isn't an ordinary business that's going on. That goddamn Monokuma. A person died and we aren't allowed to give our condolences. Monokuma can be really cruel at times. Yuki, have you got any ideas about the culprit? N no, not yet. Me neither. God, I hope we're not doomed yet. Well, maybe you should do something to help. Mitch. I don't like Mitch. <laughs> That's what I thought. There's a blood stain on the floor. This is where she was killed. I is this... The sudden sight took me by surprise. Blood. In the laundry room? Wait. The body was in the girl's restroom. Why is blood splattered all over here on the floor? Because we just saw the note in her hand. She was asked to meet somebody in the laundry room. So she went there. That's where she was killed. She was brought to the restroom. I don't really know how it happened, but <laughs> I guess that's why we're investigating. Should probably go to Kyoka's room, see if she has any other piece of that note, right? What can I infer from this is, could it be? Laundry room blood stains manager truth bullet section of your handbook. There's nothing else in here. I'm gonna go see Kyoka's room. Hers was one of the nameplates that broke yesterday, right? Hey, Yuki. How's your investigation going? Well, I can't say for sure. Would you come look over here? Look. Where? The door? Don't you see that? Yeah, I see that it's your room. This is a key piece of evidence. Your room is a key piece of evidence? Not the room. Look at the nameplate. I don't know what you're trying to say, Sarugi. I see that it's your room, but... No. This is not my room. Huh? What do you mean by that? They got switched. The pilot didn't put them on the right place because he was the one who was left to put them back and he didn't put the right one in the right place when they broke yesterday, right? That's what this is? I don't exactly know what happened and how the nameplates were switched. They're switched? Yes, Yuki. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes. With Kyoka's. And she happens to be the victim in this case. Huh. So they were probably trying to kill Sarugi. But because the nameplates were switched, it went into Kyoka's room instead, and she got the note instead of him, and she showed up at the laundry room, and then they panicked, and they killed her. Right? That's what happened? I still don't know who it is, though. I have no idea. I guess they wanted to kill Sarugi because he's the most... Like, he's the leader type, and they usually go for the leader types first. <laughs> Let's be honest, we've seen it many a time. Um... Yeah, they probably meant to kill him. Come over here. This is my actual room. That's... Next to the door that Sarugi pointed out as his room was a plate that read Kyoka Maki. 
I noticed it when I was going around to call you guys in the morning. I wasn't aware of the murder back then, so I assumed I could manage it later. But looking back now, I think this tells me the overall flow of events. You can see what happened just from this? Yes, I can see it too, Yuki. You should be able to see it. Just like a Makoto, the same thing. He doesn't know what's going on until they start talking about it. Well, roughly, combined with evidence gathered from other places. I have some experience in this field, after all. Oh, right. He's the ultimate police officer. He encountered actual murder cases before. He would certainly know what to do in this sort of situation. Switch nameplate has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Yuki, besides that, I need to know something. Do you know who switched the nameplates around? Um, even if you say so... Ah, I remember from last night. Now you remember? <laughs> Were you scared? Scared? You're such a coward! Begging for your life immediately at the spot. What an amusing sight. Ha <laughs> ha so funny. Now then, though not on purpose, you still broke the nameplates. Should I call this a punishment? Anyway, put these nameplates back on. I'll really punish you if you don't. And keep in mind, I won't be exempted for a second offense, accident, accident or not. Now, I'll pick up the broken pieces so you don't get cut. <laughs> I... I think I know who it was. Really? But... Even if he did... Why? Okay, I think that, um... Kobashikawa is just... That's his name, right? The pilot. He's just an airhead. <laughs> and he would've just put it on the wrong one by accident. I don't think he's... The one who did it. But... I don't think so, anyway. I think- well, I think he switched them, yeah, because he's a, an airhead, but I don't think he is the murderer. Make sure to hold on tight to that information. This nameplate is most likely related to the root cause of Kyoka's death. S Surugi, are you okay with me not telling you who switched the nameplates? I won't mind it, but there's no need if you know who it was. We'll talk more in the class trial. If it bugs you so much, you could try talking with that person right now. The person who switched the nameplates, it must have been him. Let's go ask. Where is he? Is he in the bathroom? Here he is. Uh, Yuki. Sorry for not being much help. I'm trying my best to investigate, but I don't understand anything. What should I do? Uh, hey. Haru. I have a question for you. Huh? For me? What is it? When we were with Kyoka and Satsuki last night, what did you do after getting back from the restroom? Oh, that? You know that I broke the nameplates, so I just put the new ones back up like Monokuma told me to. You guys were gone by then. It was a bit lonely doing it all by myself, you know. Is that all? Hmm? Hmm? What, what, what's the matter, Yuki? Did I say something wrong? I went straight to bed after putting them back on. So the new, the two nameplates that you broke yesterday... Do they belong to Kyoka and Tsurugi? Hmm, Kyoka and Tsurugi... Y yeah, I think so. I'll be frank here. Since last night, the nameplates on Kyoka and Tsurugi's rooms have been switched. I think he did it, he just didn't realize he was doing it. Because how are you supposed to tell which room is which if you didn't already know to begin with? And I doubt he knew. <clears throat> switched? Yeah, Surugi said it'll be an important piece of evidence, but I couldn't think of anyone else other than you who could have messed with them. And one of the switched nameplates belongs to Kyoka, the victim. Isn't it too much to be a coincidence? I'm so convinced. Whoever it was, it wasn't uh, Kobishikawa, because he's... Let's be... He, no. Um, 
whoever it was wanted to kill Sarugi, but because the nameplates were switched, it went under Kyoka's door instead, and she showed up instead of him. W wait a second. Switched? They're switched? D did I? What is it, Haru? I it's probably my fault that the nameplates were switched. So you really did? Why did you switch them? Is it because you're the... Culprit? Uh, no, trust me, please, I'm innocent. Okay, I trust you. Yeah, let's be real, he didn't do it. So can you explain why you switched the nameplates around? Well, actually... I normally don't pay a lot of attention to the dorm rooms, so it was a bit difficult to see whose room was whose. I mean, I wasn't sure where Kyoka and Tsurugi's nameplates originally were. Plus, that restroom trip in the middle just kept adding to the confusion. And I didn't want to bother anyone when they had just gone into sleep. So I put them back based on my vague memory. But I must have done it wrong. I'm sorry. So that's what happened. Alright. I don't know how this connects to the case yet. Yugi, open up your brain. Let's go. Come on. Chop, chop. But it seems like an important clue. I really didn't know. Don't assume I'm the culprit just because I did it. I, I won't. Thanks for telling the truth. Haruhiko's account has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Okay, so... <clears throat> Where else should we look? I wanted to look... It's locked. I want to look in her room. Move! I think I see what happened, roughly. Already? You really deserve to be the ultimate police officer. What's the point of being called that when I couldn't stop this murder from happening? It's all my fault. If I paid more attention... Tsurugi seems to be blaming himself for the murder. Can he get out of the way? Oh, he's not even in the way. Can I get... Why can't I go in? Oh, I guess I don't have a key, right? So I can't go in. Alright, let's see if... Not sure where else we should look. We look in the laundry room. What room is this? Bathhouse? This door is still locked. Hmm. Let's talk to her, Satsuki. Yuki! Yuki, 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 Yuki! <laughs> what do we do? Kyoka's really dead? Calm down, Satsuki! I know it can be confusing, but if you give up here, everything will be over for real. Think of what you can do right now. Yeah, so Satsuki came to an expedition to investigate the school building because nobody seems to care about it. And it's got zero clues. Cheer up. Just remember that we need to investigate to move forward. Oh yeah, Makaru was investigating the front, so we should do that too. Let's go. She was in here. Is there nothing here? Fire hydrant, huh? There's something here. Oh, it's a coin. <laughs> I was like, a clue? It's a trash can. It's empty when I looked inside. But she was investigating here, wasn't she? This is... The giant gate stood firmly in place, as if it were guarding a repository of top-secret military documents. I don't think we can break open a door like this. Yeah, Yuki, no you can't. Genius. Yeah, I guess... wasn't she in there? Hmm. No, that's... I'm sure that's the trial room. This is the box that contained Monokuma's motive videos. They made it harder for us to trust in each other. Hmm. A small cabinet. Inside is an empty box with the word DVD written on it in marker. I suppose it was for sorting DVDs. A small cabinet. Okay, it's the same thing, huh? There's something here. Oh, it's the coin again. <laughs> I'm wondering... Small LCD monitor. It played the motive video along. I played the motive video using this a moment ago. 
It wouldn't, I wouldn't have played it if I knew this would happen. Okay, so I don't think there's anything in this room. I doubt there's anything in here. I just like, I like to look everywhere just in case. Maybe we should check the gym. Look at these things? No. Can I... No. <laughs> Alright, there's nothing in here. Where else should I look? Antiques? Is this the antique store? Oh, it's locked. Guess I can't go in there yet. Oh, there's Makaru again. Should we talk to her? What is it now? Why did you come to me again? Well, you said there was something that caught your interest. I was wondering what it was. Which happens to be none of your business. Didn't I also say I won't give you help? It's more of a minor thing. Look inside the shop if you're curious. A useless guy like you won't see it anyway. <laughs> I can't get over it. She just says, hi, useless. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> Is there one of those things in the back? Is one missing? It's This is the antique store. A place filled with bizarre odds and ends not found anywhere else in the building. I thought the culprit might have gotten their tools for murder from here, but... As I didn't come here very often, everything only looks the same. Only we had an expert on the store. Oh, I wonder who that could be, Akane. Wait a minute, wasn't there someone? The stores sell things. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be Akane, because we came here with her, but it's, um... Teruya? Is that his name? The green hair guy? <laughs> the Fumi hair guy? Someone who's an expert of selling things. This person might know something about this. I should go ask him. Oh, now I have to go all the way back to the bathroom. <laughs> Yuki, what should I do? What should... Snap out of it, Teria. We need to uncover the truth. Uh, but how can I walk around like nothing's happened? When someone's dead for real? Nobody thinks that nothing's happened. We're only putting our feelings aside for something more important. You need to get over that despair. Even if you say so. My specialty is appraising and selling things. Not this kind of job. And it's one of those fields where I screw up a bunch at. No, there is something you can do. That's why I came to you in the first place. Something I can do? Teria, didn't you visit the antique store pretty often? The, the antique store? It's true, I took quite an interest in that place. It has a ton of items, considerable worth. Speaking of that... I think the room looked a bit different this morning from what it used to look like before. Really? Are you sure? I, I think so. I checked the place when we were looking for Kyoka and Makaru, and the layout of the room was slightly off from usual. You mean the whole layout of the room? What you mean the whole layout? It's common sense that a product needs to be in perfect layout to convey its full value to the customers. When I was six, I learned the hard way how much the layout can influence daily sales. If you say so, then it must be true. Oh, wait, why was the layout suddenly out of place? About that rope and hook, Teria. Did you see them at the antique store? I don't know. I didn't look over everything in there yet. But I can say this for sure. The storage didn't have anything like those. I'm positive. 
then the culprit may have gotten supplies needed for this murder from the antique store. How'd you figure that out? You're smart. <laughs> because of what you just told me, Teria. It's all thanks to you. Thanks to me? Are you starting to feel better now? Always bright and cheerful? That's the Teria I know. Yuki, you're right. I feel better after all this talking. Everyone will feel sad. I'm, I'm not an exception. But there's moments in life where we must do things that we don't want to, right? Let's find the culprit who murdered Kyoka. We'll figure out the truth. I yeah, of course we will. We can get there. Let's do this. I think I was able to cheer Teria up a little bit. That's a relief. Anyway, if what Teria said was true, the culprit should be someone who went to the antique store after yesterday. Teria's account's been added. Okay. Bing bong. Oh my god, is that it? Are we going into the investigation now? Ah, are we, I mean, the trial now? What? <laughs> I'm doing the investigation. Announcement from Headmaster Monokuma. Looks like all of you are tired of waiting. Shall we begin then? Our very first class trial. Everyone, please gather at the carpeted door at the end of the school area hallway. I'll be waiting there. <laughs> it's time. If we fail to identify the culprit in the class trial, we die. I really don't want to go through this, but I don't have a choice. This is the only way. The door with the carpet in the school area. I should go there. <laughs> 